welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kayla Rundle, if you do not know who I am. And today I will be wrapping the Civic. I have never wrapped a car, so this is my very first time ever wrapping. And my neighbor actually runs this company called Amato Sports. So he does vehicle wraps and custom installations on many vehicles. So I begged him to come over to help. <laughs> but I have the job of getting the vehicle completely prepped and ready to install the vinyl. And this color behind me on the hood is the color I'm wrapping the color in. And shout out to Vinyl Frog for sending me this roll of wrap. I'm very excited about this. And I've never tried out Vinyl Frog vinyl before. It should go great. They sent me a little bit of extra wrap, thankfully, just in case I mess up. Color is like a ruby redstone. It is a Porsche color replica. And Sam is getting the E30 painted in a Porsche blue, so I wanted the Civic in like this Porsche pinkish red color, so I think it'll be perfect and it'll also make it a little bit girly. To get this thing started, I have to start ripping off everything on this car, including all the door handles and the tail lights. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna take the bumpers off. I might just leave them on the car and get them wrapped, but I gotta get this thing cleaned up. Say goodbye to the white. I know it's usually on brand for me all my vehicles are white right now i think it'll be fun to have a little bit of a change and have like a bright pink color and it'll look like super girly which is totally not my thing but it'll be fun so enjoy this long process i don't know if i'll split this up or keep it in one huge video but enjoy <laughs> All right, first things first is I'm gonna be taking off the rear door handle since it is one of the easier pieces. So I know I gotta remove this guy. Now I'm just removing this OEM spoiler and it's only connected by two bolts, it seems. And they're both 10 millimeters and there's one there. And then the other one is on this side right there. And it should pop off. There might be some clips. After I get those two off, it should just completely come off. But we want that off so we can wrap the whole hatch and wrap that spoiler easier. to get to behind the door handle. I need to roll up the window. Cause I can't get to the door handle with the glass in the way. I was struggling with this in the door for a while and I figured out I have to push on this left rear side up and then I can pull this out. I was trying to find if there was like a clip or something here I couldn't get it out for a while, but there is a piece on this left side that you push up and then the whole thing pops out. Now I got to unbolt the door handle and then roll back down the window once I get the door handle out. And 
you pull this off first for the door handle, and then the other one you just slide to the right and pop it out. And the whole sensor with that comes out as well. I did take off these little rubber pieces just so I can clean it and wrap it easier. Yeah, I think this doesn't want to stop. Let me know. So, let me tuck it here. With body lines like this, you don't want to go over it, like when you're moving it, because the adhesive will come off and it'll look like dirt underneath. Uh, it's called sanding. Yikes, okay. Like, I don't know if that's dirt or what, but... You want to press. Oh, that helps a ton. If you have no choice, then you have like a bunch of fingers like this. Instead of going like this, what you want to do is get the edge and like, cut it. Oh. So that you're not. How do I don't know how to explain it. No, so you like, don't make the crease or something. Yeah. See how Just I'm, I'm cutting it. Well. Yeah. Because like, when you wrap, you naturally pull so it curves. You you can't really naturally just make it flat. <laughs> I guess. I don't know how to... Yeah. No. Like this edge. You know what I mean? Like yeah. It's a and then boss, pulling it that way. Yeah. When you lay it, yeah. it's not gonna lay flat. Or even doing this in a circle. They also say because of the hinges, because you can't really, you can't wrap hinges without looking weird, I guess. That's very true. That's why people plasty dip them. Yeah. Sadly. I've, I've seen that before on the new Bronco. Well, to say the least, I've gotten a whole lot better at this wrapping thing. I was up until 2 a.m. last night and did this all myself. I'm like 12, 13 hours in to wrapping the car and I only have like one side semi done and then the hood and the corner panel, the hood and the quarter panel, or the hood and the front fender, sorry, is what Jake Amato from Amato Sports helped me with. So I learned on the front and then did all that by myself and the mirror by myself. So I'm actually pretty proud of how it is looking. I don't know if you guys remember the video of when I did my Civic uh, fog lights. I replaced them and took off the whole front bumper. Well, I figured out how to take the bezels off without taking off the bumper. And I basically just shoved in a plastic tool into where the clips would be and just kind of yanked on it. And then I opened up the top. And once I peeled back the top, there is this little clip right here, this guy. So you just have to take that out before removing the entire bezel. And they both come out. So I'm able to clean all behind here and I'll be able to put the wrap further back. So it'll be much easier to wrap areas like this when the bezel's out. And I'm looking for like an aftermarket version of this because as you can see, this is very pitted and it's you can hear that the texture on it's horrible and it really bothers me you can't even clean it it's just filled from rocks and bugs hitting it so i'm looking for like an updated version of these so if you guys have any suggestions for that let me know i obviously took out all the tail lights and unplugged them and took out this whole rear piece so i could remove the rear roof spoiler and the tail light it's been a lot. This car's a lot to disassemble. And I figured out this piece comes out. That's where the tow hook is. Sadly, I did drop my tail light. <laughs> and I never, ever, ever do this. But it is cracked right there. 
and it's a little scuffed up. That will definitely bother me. I might just go for it and get like a Mugen style taillight, which are my like, dream taillights for this car. Also the door handles in the front are a pain. Door handles in the back, super easy. Yeah, I think I'm gonna maybe go after the front bumper, but I have been using alcohol and I went through this whole bottle of G-Technic panel wipe to get all the panels prepped for wrap. It's basically like an alcohol base, so it gets rid of all the oils and contaminants on the car before wrapping. So prepping the car is very important. So I don't think I've really been showing you guys that much, but it's honestly just me sitting here for six hours a panel. First time wrapping. It's not as hard as everyone said it was, honestly. Seeing monsters at your window. No, you can't sleep. You pretend though. You don't have to play the hero. Cause I got you like you got me. When the earth shakes, when the bombs scream, until I last breath, every heartbeat. side skirt pieces the rockers and so i put knifeless tape on the inside here because i figured i would just wrap it all the way over there and then just pull the knifeless tape to cut it but it doesn't stick all the way over here i don't know if i should do it with the doors open or closed or what and this is bubbling i need to i'm getting close to the end of the car and I did these a couple times because I'm really struggling with the door handles, but this is the best one that I finished so far. Like, look how good I got that button. Mind you, this took so long and I'm usually embarrassed by the backside, but look how well this looks. Like, <sighs> I'm getting so much better. And I basically finished this whole side of the car. These rockers or side skirts were the toughest part of the car because of this angle right here i don't know if people take off the doors but that took me so long to get in that little corner curve at the front at the very very front of the passenger door and so the last panel i have is the driver side rocker and i don't have enough wrap to do the roof you, as you can see it needs like three more inches which I could possibly stretch it. I'm slowly just reassembling the entire car and getting these door handles perfected since I've gotten a lot better after practicing on the entire car. Sorry guys, I haven't been videoing. I've been actually taking my entire life 
every second of the last like week doing this car and it's a lot of work so definitely take some time for yourself if you guys plan on wrapping your cars because it is quite a lot to do on your own i got the antenna off probably three hours worth of work of trying to figure out how to get that off i will show you guys where it goes once we put it back but the wire was just taped up in like five different areas and I cut all the tape and then I had two connectors all the way by the C pillar on the passenger side. And we had to pull the wire all the way through. So now I'm using more alcohol to clean and prep the surface for wrapping the roof. This piece of wrap doesn't really fit the roof size. So I'm gonna try stretching it by three inches to hopefully fit the whole roof. But it should be good but i think the antenna makes me really happy because that was gonna be the really bad part i was worried i'd have to seam it or push the antenna through like i've seen in a lot of other youtube videos of these civics people just leave the antenna on but i do not give up at least i can detail underneath my antenna now <laughs> Like that? Yeah. I'm saying bubbles come out really easy, but if you crease it, that shit is not easy to get out. And also, if there's a crease, instead of like going forward into it, you cut it like this. And it usually comes out easier if you go sideways. Do you want to help me? You want to pull it back to here together? and then stretch the whole thing together since it's at this point. Yeah. Just hold your hand here so it doesn't go further than your good point. We're going to go all the way back to the other part and then pull away from me and forward. Oh, that's beautiful. This is looking nice. <laughs> You're doing a great job. I have no idea what I'm doing. stretch it like that much. <laughs> oh my gosh, it fits. Well, I am officially done wrapping the car and I did end up getting the antenna out and I'll show you guys in a second, but it actually has two connectors. Um, one is a little bit higher up than the other. I think the white one's a little lower and then there's a black one higher up the C-pillar. And the way I wrapped this, I'm actually very impressed on how this turned out. I am now like way better at wrapping. Let's head to the whole car. Doing these details were a lot easier, but I did do it in two sections. so. I did split it on this rear section of the antenna and then did another section here. So it's kind of like an overlay because pulling the material all the way back and getting this perfect was like impossible. And then I tucked it underneath the rubber and so it will seal itself on the roof. The other accessory that was very, very difficult was doing this roof spoiler 
And by the way, when you're taking off this roof spoiler, it does have these two long clips underneath the roof spoiler. So these are a pain to pop out, but they will eventually pop out just by tugging on it real hard. And I swear it almost flew across, across the roof when we pulled it out and I did end up breaking a clip you can see here. I'm just gonna pop it back in. I don't think it'll fall out. I seamed this, the wrap all around here because this section obviously goes onto the hatch. So we won't see that. These are pretty difficult to get wrapped good, but I mean, they look really nice. I did it in basically two wrapping pieces, one on the bottom and one on the top. This curve was really, really difficult. So I did have to like keep, do a release cut and then stretch it with heat but it's actually sticking really, really nicely in those really hard creases. But I'm very happy with the results of like the tough accessory pieces and I'm gonna start putting the car all back together. Make sure this antenna faces the correct way. I'm gonna put these wires through. And then there's that huge bolt that sits in there nicely. It should pop in like that. The easier part is taking this antenna wire and putting it back where it came from. The black wire goes right through this pillar right here, right underneath the green tab. Yay! The antenna is clipped in. And then the antenna is also held on by this huge bolt. It's a 17 millimeter bolt that the antenna is held on by. This is screwed from the underside. You will have to pop out your dome light and these two little push buttons in order to get to this. Oh, I'm twisting the bolt slowly by hand to bring the antenna down. Then we have this little guy to put back, which to take this off, it's literally just a tube. Here, this is the windshield wiper sprayer that sprays on your rear glass. Believe it or not, this tube feeds all the way to the front to your windshield wiper fluid. You do have to pop this in from the outside, not the inside, because this head is larger than the hole here that we are trying to get through. That is it on the top side, and then don't forget to put the hose back onto this piece. So this is the nozzle I just put on with the hose for the rear windshield wiper. And then this is the cord to the antenna, which as you can see, these little dusted spots on this loom, these were actually taped up on, right behind this bar in several spots. It does have like clips. You can see all the way through these holes and you can unclip it, but I couldn't do that. I just ended up cutting the tape off of this. I just put a blade up in there and cut this off. So I'm not really gonna be worrying about putting this back. I'm gonna shove it back in here. But the first clip for the antenna is this black one right here. And this part on the left side, which is closer to the front of the car, that is where one of the clips for the antenna is. You can see this line runs up into the headliner. Then the second clip that you have to worry about is that white one right here, which is the one closest to us, which is the closest to the inside of the car and you just have to unclip that one as well so there's that one and this one they're pretty close together on the c panel of the car on the passenger side then the whole thing comes out and this i literally just pulled out with clips and these green guys can be rough but they do completely pop out you just kind of have to pull directly away from wherever you think it is attached but no bolts same with this these are all clips you see clips 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 all the way down. The nice part about this is you just pop it all back in once you get it in the right spot. Um, to get these two out, I did have to remove the weather stripping on the doors. You can see it's missing there. So I just took the whole weather stripping off of the rear passenger door to get these panels off. But I can't believe I got the antenna off. That was the hardest part of this car. And also have to put together this dome light because I had to take this out to bring down the headliner where I needed to.
look how cute. The pink looks so amazing. Ah! And we actually ended up stretching the roof. It looks like perfect. So happy I didn't have to buy any extra wrap for that roof. This is a pretty, it's like a large, but not too large of a car for just the one roll of wrap. Well, we are finally finished with the Civic wrap and I did use the entire roll of the Vinyl Frog in Ruby Star. I absolutely love this color. I've been getting lots of compliments on it in the last week. This project ended up taking two entire weeks of hard work of getting this car done. And mind you, this was my very first time. And other than the hood and quarter panel, I did the entire car by myself with really no help. The car turned it out it, beautiful and perfect. There's only two minor or major areas that I'm kind of upset about, which is completely my fault. Um, but the passenger side is like nearly perfect. I learned that the seams, I had to go a little bit further in the door jams to make it look better. So the passenger side looks wonderful. I didn't know that I had to seam it deeper. So you can see white, which white is the hardest color to wrap. But other than that, the bumpers, which everyone said would be the hardest, like came out really, really nicely and I absolutely love it. Thank you Vinyl Frog for making this possible and getting me the Ruby Star wrap before really anybody else has it. But I actually did get a discount code through Vinyl Frog. Uh, so I will put that link into the description. You can use, I believe it's Kayla Rundle to save some money on a wrap if you guys are interested in any color on their website, you can save some money. Sorry, it took a while to make this video. It didn't take two weeks to install this wrap for one YouTube video, and it was a long one, but if you guys have any questions about any deconstructing on a Civic or really any panels, now I know this whole car. And I do have a few more mods coming for the Civic, so stay tuned for that. I'm very excited to keep going on this car. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you all have an amazing day or night, whatever time it is, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.